Today, we're going to talk with Sooner signee Marcus Hicks about winning his state championship in wrestling and all that's coming up after the bump. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. So it's OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today we're going to talk with Marcus Hicks and his father, Kelvin, about going 38 and 1 to win a state championship in the heavyweight division of wrestling. Marcus has given up 40 pounds to the limit and he made it happen. I was so excited to hear about this that I wanted to talk with him and his father about this tremendous achievement. Take a listen. Marcus Hicks just won the 5A Kansas State wrestling title at heavyweight. What are you walking around at now, man? Uh, right now I'm about at like 243. So you 243 and you competing at 285 as a weight limit, right? Yes. Oh, come on, man. Like that, you, you, I've seen the video because your dad has done a really great job of documenting your road to the state title. It's actually one of the more inspiring things that I've seen in a very long time, how much your dad really just loves watching you do your thing. What does it mean to you to win this state championship? I meant a lot just showed off how much I put into it, how all those times that I went to go to practice, even though I really didn't want to. And I, most people know this, but I mainly did it because I want it helped me get better at football. But it, it just felt really good knowing that after all these years, starting in fifth or fourth grade, that I won state finally. Nah, that's, that's not a small thing, especially in a state like Kansas, which they wrestle up there. And you went 35 and 1. Is that right? 38 and 1. 38 and 1. My, my bad. Let me get it right, RJ. Do you remember the last <laughs> time you lost? Do you remember that loss? Yes, it was. The first tournament I went to in the finals. What do you know? What day of the month or what month that was? I th believe it was in um, December. So you will be undefeated for the rest of your career as a wrestler, right? Yes. Hey, that's what's up. So you haven't lost in 2019. I gotta ask because a lot of people have been asking me. Have you considered wrestling at Oklahoma? Is it even on the table for you? Uh, I don't think I'll be wrestling at all in college. Is, uh, so you're just on to track season, and then you're going to get ready for football? Right. Right. Would you, you – do you – how do you feel when people ask you to wrestle in college? Um, I understand why they think I might. Right. But – um, I really have no interest in wrestling at Oklahoma. Okay, no, that's fair, and that's I'm glad you spoke to that. Um, so you're getting ready for track. I uh, understand you're a thrower. You're gonna throw some disc. You're gonna throw some shot. Um, what are you looking forward to most about the rest of your senior year? Uh, I'm just looking forward to being laid back, not having too much on my plate, just going to school and then going to practice and getting my work done. I hear you. Uh, real quick, what are you planning to major in? Health and exercise science. Hey, I got a degree in exercise science. It's a good train. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I hope you have a good time. I'm tremendously proud of what you've accomplished. I can't wait to see you play football at OU. Appreciate you taking time. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Cool. Can you, can you hand the phone to your dad real quick? Yeah. Hey, what's up, RJ? Hey, Kelvin, real quick, I just wanted you to have an opportunity to just give me a once-over about how proud you are of your boy. Um, well, I'm trying to keep it short, I'll just say uh, uh, no dad could be prouder. I'm proud of all my kids, but um, I'm extremely uh, proud of Marcus's accomplishments and um, more than his accomplishments, just uh, – the growth, the hard work that he puts in, just seeing that he's, uh, you know, he, the way he carries himself, and I'm more proud of that than anything. You know, he's he never complains. He's 
He's just always doing what you ask him to do. He's willing to work. Uh, never seen a kid work harder than him. So I don't expect that to change. It's like even this week, he, he got sick and lost 10. He's 243, but he lost 10 pounds this week uh, with a stomach bug. So so he wrestled through a stomach bug? Yeah. <laughs> okay. O- okay, mighty man. All right. All right. So, yeah. So he was real tired. He, you know, he, he wouldn't, he would never tell anybody that or make excuses. He just goes and do what he has to do. And that speaks to me, uh, as how mentally tough he is. You know, I already know how mentally tough he is. Um, but he will never complain. He will never, uh, sometimes it's to his detriment. Right. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, if you're hurt, you gotta let somebody know, you know. But he's just not a complaint. He's just a he's just a worker. He's just a doer. And so, uh, yeah, I was extremely proud. I was kind of worried about his energy level and uh, just stamina, you know, because he didn't practice uh, this week just because of the stomach bug. So it was just uh, like, man, uh, the morning the morning of the tournament, how you feel? He said, we'll see. <laughs> I said, okay. You know, <laughs> You know, just just do what you just do what you do. You know, so he did, he did what he had to do to get it done. So I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. Man, well, Kelvin, like I told Marcus, thank you for taking the time to to do this short interview. But I wanted to give this some air to breathe because I am a wrestler, resident high school. It is a crowning achievement for any wrestler to win a state championship at any level at any cost. I'm tremendously yeah. proud of him. I'm glad that I know both of you. Thank you very much, RJ. Uh, glad to know you too, and appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Take it easy, RJ. Yeah.